What is up YouTube, XCX Solutions here and today I am bringing you a JTAG tutorial and this is on how to install fake anim on your JTAG or RGH. Now fake anim essentially means fake animation and it just replaces the default boot animation on your JTAG or RGH. So you can replace it with any 8 to 10 second video of your choice. This may be a, an intro of your YouTube channel maybe or just a random video. I think it has to be WMV type format only. I'm not entirely sure because I haven't actually tried all the different formats out but from what I can see it's WMV only. So this is pretty cool. If you want to replace the boot animation on your JTAG or RGH you can do that. I've never really done this so I'm going to do this for the first time in this video as well. This is quite an old homebrew application and I've never really done a video on this so I thought why the heck not it's pretty cool and I thought I'd share it with you guys if you go ahead in the description below and click on fake anim this will link you to the real mod scene forum and it will tell you all about it who developed it and everything like that there's calibration notes installation notes obviously I'm going to show you how to do that so you don't really need to read that but there's just basic you know notes and stuff like that and there's a lot of videos on YouTube as well so if you do want to see an example of how this works you can obviously YouTube it here so if you go on to this web page you can see fake anim 0.6b raw is 60 megabytes so go ahead and download that and save it to a desired location once you have that we're going to go ahead and extract it you'll be then prompted with a folder with three things inside you can delete the readme and the nfo because we will not be using that and you'll be left with a folder called fake anim now this is where all the magic happens inside this folder is the xcx the ini and the jukebox folder now a jukebox essentially is where you store your videos so for this download you do get four that comes with it the original boot anim full 2010 animation an evil laugh the original xbox so the one before the xbox 360's animation which is pretty cool i think that's about 12 seconds long as you can see they're 12 and all the rest are, i think are seven or eight seconds long so i'm not entirely sure what the maximum length you can have but again, we'll go into detail when we calibrate the settings later in the video. So for this tutorial, I'm gonna delete three of these, so I'm left with one. I'm just gonna use the original Xbox DVD player video, which I'll just go ahead and show you really quickly. So it's literally the old school Xbox boot animation. Pretty cool stuff. I'll be using this for this tutorial, but again, you can use any video of your choice. So once you've found the video and you've put it inside the jukebox folder, make sure that you have one inside and you've deleted the rest or moved the rest to another desired location. You'll be left with an ini and an XCX file. Now, first of all, you wanna open this ini file and you'll be left with two settings here, the delay and the calibration. It's the delay between the boot sequence and the video. So it's a bit hard to explain but basically if you put this around 10 this should work fine and then later in the video you can see how long this delay can actually be so by default this calibration setting is set to 1 so basically what this does is when you boot the boot sequence will have a solid red screen on your screen and then you would count how long that red screen is and say it's like eight seconds and then you know that the delay will be like eight seconds so you can change that delay but i'm going to set this to 10 because 10 works for me and it works for a lot of other people i have a trinity i'm not sure how this works on other consoles but again you'll have to do some trial and error testing by yourself so i'm going to set the delay to 10 and i'm going to put the calibration setting to zero because we don't want the solid red screen and then we're going to go ahead and save that so once we've applied them settings we're going to go ahead and boot our console once our console is booted connect via neighborhood or filezilla i'm just going to use neighborhood because it's really easy to access you can go ahead and launch freestyle dash or aurora depending on what you use i'm just going to go ahead and launch aurora because it's easier for me to open now the reason why we're doing this is so that we get access to one of the petitions on the drive so we go ahead and go back and then go to jtag you can see we have more drives here so the system is the one we're looking for this may be called flash for you it could be called flash i think if you use ftp using filezilla or any other ftp client it's called flash but for me it's called system so i'm using xbox neighborhood if you go in there it will pretty much have like 38 or 39 items and they'll look very similar to this so what happens if you go ahead and use fake anim straight off the bat the boot sequence will mess up because it will have the original video file with the normal xbox 360 logo and the video clip and then it will go on to whatever video clip that you have so there will be like two videos on top of each other and the time will just be ridiculous so it will take ages to boot up your console so there's no point of having two video clips side by side so what you can do to prevent this is go inside this drive and delete boot anim.xx so if you delete this then it won't load that obviously because it doesn't exist and will only load the existing clip that you have inside of the jukes folder so that was a mouthful 
but basically it will work and it won't have the original Xbox 360 video clip. Now if you do want to get this back I believe you have to reflash your NAND because if you just go ahead and drag this to your desktop keep it and then put it back I think it just knows out and doesn't know it's there so I'm not entirely sure but I just reflash your NAND just to be safe if you're ever going to go back to the original video clip. So go ahead and delete this. So the next step we're going to want to do is obviously drag fake anim onto the root of our hard drive but we're going to go inside this folder and then open up neighborhood go to our hard drive you can put this wherever you want I'm just going to put it on my hard drive because it'll be easy to access drag and drop that on there it may take a little while I'm using neighborhood but again you can use FTP or a USB whatever's easiest for your choice you'll then have a folder called fake anim and if you go inside here you should have three things jukebox fake anim.ini and fake anim.xx now if we go back to our hard drive we want to edit the launch INI so just drag your launch INI onto your desktop open it up and as you can see here I already have the file path in here so what you want to do is look for default where the comments default is what loads go underneath here hit enter and type the file path that is required so it will be fake anim equals and then wherever you have it located on your hard drive so I basically have it under hard drive then fake anim as you can see here all lowercase which is the folder and then inside there we have fake anim.xx and fake anim.xx there as you can see so once you have that go ahead and save the ini file go back to your hard drive and then simply drag and drop launch.ini onto your hard drive and replace it so from here we are pretty much done i am now going to reboot my console cold and we shall see if we have succeeded And there you have it guys, so as you can see the video that I replaced has successfully worked. There was a black screen around 2-3 to three seconds after the intro, so that means that I can maybe put it from 10 to 7 or 8, so you just gotta again trial and error with the delay setting to get it perfect and hit that sweet spot and you shall have a custom boot sequence video. So that's pretty cool, I hope I've helped you on the way, comment, rate, subscribe and all that good stuff and I will see you guys in the next one, peace.